So it's come the time, the MOT failed yesterday, uh, track rod end on this side of the van, that's the near side. Um, track rod end, track rod end ball joint, so I've got a new one, it's a quick enough swap. Just the main job is getting the old ball joint out, that's what it looks like there. I've got a video up of how to do the inner one, but uh, shouldn't be much hassle here. It's just a matter of un unrolling the old one, counting the number of turns, putting on the new one the same number of turns, and everything back together. The bigger job's getting the wheel off, so we'll start with that. So the wheel is up, let's get the wheel off. So, loads of space. That's the broken one. That's the new one. Looks the same length. So, I'll slacken this back. Break this off. You can feel a bit of... Oh, you can even see it there. See if I can do it without holding the camera at the same time. That's a lot of pull there, look at that. Right. Right. Let's get this off first. And if I recall, there's an Allen key. It's gone. There's an Allen key way in the bottom of that. So once you get a move on it, Normally they're well stuck on the taper, so let's see how we go. What size is that? 18. It's not 18, it's probably 19. That'll do. Now, is that just going to spin? Mm. Looks to me like it's just spinning, so it's got a 19 spanner and it's just spinning. And this is one of the ones that doesn't have the Allen key, so that's going to be fun to get off. Right. Fun and games. If you put a vice grip on the end of it, means you can't get it off later. So, find a way of clamping it in. that bad boy in there. I wonder if that would fit. Don't know. I see it turning. It must be loose. It must be loose. Here's my new one. It may go on. Like this. See how we go. Oh no, that's not going in. Uh, maybe that was the reason why it came off in the first place. I've just broken the seal on that and it's got some little grease coming out so that's going to be fun to clean up. Maybe if it's not from behind. Nope. Maybe.
change the angle. But this is that. Might be able to get my little wedge in. Sausage. I've got another tuning fork that's got ends that are a little bit less mashed up, so let's see if this one will fit. Still spinning. Still spinning. Don't like it. Let's see. That's not gonna do it. That's not going to do it. Loose as can be. These are extra special vice grips made by vice grip for gripping around things that giving you trouble. I guarantee to mar up the treads in these bars. But let's see how we get on. You might be able to on the tip. These are new grips. So where I keep going, because I'm not a car garage mechanic, all my stuff is everywhere. Oh, that's not going to do it. It's all over the house. It's all over the shed. It's in the back of the van. Yeah, oh, well it's twisting. That's something. about breaking the tape or should I usually that's where I get caught out so the stuff's all over the house to get it to run all over the house I keep coming away so I start a job like this thinking oh yeah that'll take 15 minutes it's been 15 minutes just walking around so now I'm chasing the bolt against I'm gripping it on I'm hoping somehow like some miracle Baby one as well. So I'm going to get it off. Then we'll resort. No, right, so can I get a vice grips in there? Why can't I? What can I get in there? In a greasy hole. In that greasy hole. You can see it. It's loose. What am I going to do? Sharp knife. I'm sure there's a better way of doing this. I'm sure. I don't know what it is. get a vice grip around that. That is the question. Oh, well this one might go on. If it does, might be enough. So that one's on. Yep, it's twisting. And the vice grip's sh shearing. We're moving. We're moving. We're still moving. I did this job three years ago on the inner end. And I think I did it on the outer end five years ago. Maybe four. It's off. Looks like we're okay. Like it's a 
Let's run them off. That's it. Rusty. It's got a nylocking locking nut on it. I've damaged that. I've taken it off. And that's it. So it's badgered up that taper. Where am I looking at? It's all dirty. So the ball is probably quite good in there, but the taper is full of shit. You can see in there. So I've got to try and clean that up with something now. So my video decided to stop 27 minutes, it's about five minutes ago. Just before I got the old end off. So I had it separated before, which is the awkward bit. The wear and tear in there is what I've done, hitting it with uh, tongs to try and get it off. That's the old one. So what I did was, to get it off, I slackened back this nut, sixth of a turn, just a tiny amount. I counted off the turns in the old one, it took 23 turns to get it off. Wound on the new one 23 turns, checked that it was just up against that nut and the same same plane, and then just nipped it up. But before I nipped it up, I tightened up that nut, and it just tightened up fine. Didn't need to use the hexagon key underneath it, it just tightened up on the taper. Um, it's all back together now, then I nipped up, once this was in I nipped up that nut, two spanners on there, same way as I took it off. You didn't see that. Better show you. So, 224 spanners, one like that and one like that, and just tighten it up. That's it. So let's get it all back together. So what do we do? Jacked it up, took off the wheel. Realized that the taper was spinning. The ball joint end taper was just spinning. So I got a vice grips on the end. Put it on as tight as I could. That allowed me to take off the nut. Once the nut was off, I didn't have to break it because the taper was already broken. Unscrewed the old one. Not screwed on the new one. Screwed it all back together, tightened it up, put the wheel back on. That's where we are. I guess it took 40 minutes. If I was in a garage with tools beside me, I would say that would take 15, possibly, maybe 25. Thanks for watching.